Is the Galactical Federation a real thing? Are we being protected for real? Short answer, yes. Um, when you think, when you say Galactical Federation, you're dealing with the galaxy, right? So just like on the planet, we have, you got, you got different sovereign states, different countries, and they're autonomous in terms of like, you know, their governments, um, prime ministers, presidents, etc. And then you have international in terms of like the United Nations where the different sovereign states come together when certain things need to be discussed or when you're dealing with incidents on an international level or conflicts. So the Galactical Federation is the same thing where you have different galaxies and if there are conflicts between different galaxies, then different representatives from the different galaxies come together and try to resolve these situations. So um, the master teacher, Parnabab Yanun, Dr. Malachi Z. York, has taught us and has been explaining about the Galactical Federation for a very long time. And this scroll called the Akasha Records is something that I would recommend that you get to learn more about the Galactical Federation. Um, and yes, they, you have movies like Guardians of the Galaxy, and that ties into these beings who are the guardians of the galaxies because they have to keep order. I'm going to read you a little excerpt from this. Um, it says, uh, like, uh, I'm going to read from page 25 of this actual, um, actual fact call series number 72, the Akasha Records. Um, it says, I have been from verse 188. I have been guided all my life by these beings who teach whatever I am asked. To make it clear, all other physical people have ancestors who speak to them all the time in their heads as far back as four generations. I also have a body, Malachi Z. Kobina York, also known as Isa Al Hadi Al Mahdi. That is my physical. That is my physical me. I am also in my etheric body, Yanun, who is the nineteenth elder, and have both Riskians and Markabians of Zeta Reticuli in Orion's belt. So I have many who have come to me over the years and have taken me to many worlds. The very first time I came in contact with the Me Stones was in 1963 AD at age 19. I was taken inside Mount Shasta. I told this story in the past of the cave. I was led into the cave in Mount Shasta and there were twists and turns. It was just a rock cave. I felt then we reach a point where there was only a great stone wall. We passed through it and there was this great hall. Once inside, I saw elevated seats that did not touch the ground. On them were beings seated, levitating. Many what you would call strange creatures, even monsters. Each group of them represented a star system or they represented star systems. I never saw anything like them before. No sound up front. It was a big screen, I mean real big, and was curved. Beneath the seat was a small slit, half dollar size. I came to know it was my own seat. It was for a disc, a personal me stone. Once I was seated, looking up front, beings from risk came on stage with other beings I did not recognize. Yet with me was this being, his name was Rama. He was humanoid, yet a golden color with silver white fur and red eyes about four feet tall. He spoke and said, just relax, and smiled. Up front, they spoke to each other. Then one waved his hand towards the screen and it lit up. It was a star map of constellations I did not recognize. What they talked about, I was not knowledgeable of as it was not for me. Then he waved again after many others and I saw Sirius and Orion and I was called up as Yananan, Yanun and given my place as the 19th elder and my assignment as the master teacher. And so much more I was shown and told. I met many star people and even some of the strange creatures each had their own signet or symbol. 
it seemed many knew each other. Much of what I was exposed to, I can't say here. I saw, well, it goes on, right? So that was to tie into that question about the Galactical Federation and um, the different seats or the 24 elders that meet and discuss various things. So if you want to know more about that, get hold of that scroll. And yes, they protect the planet. They protect because, as I explained on the previous video, what happens in everything's connected. We're all tied together by ether. Yeah, so everyone is connected to some level or degree. And if something happens on the planet, it will affect other planets. And if something happens in our solar system, it can have, you know, a devastating effect on other solar systems. So it is their duty to, to protect us. Um, all right, let me move on.